Ah, some people think if I push and then I stop, they will take the coffee out. But before the pressure build up, the water is difficult to back flush. <laughs> so you must decide before the pressure build to the maximum. Okay, so now we move to the idea about flow. So let's see. Now, if we have a machine, we can fix our flow rate 7 gram per second from the shower screen. Flow rate. So this is what we will have. Coffee pressure still go 9 bar because it's from the pump behind. Maximum is still 9 bar. It will not go more or go less. Uh, coffee pressure, flow rate go through the coffee, it will be similar like the 9 bar of a normal machine. And let's see the 3 gram per second. You set the water flow only 3 gram. But the pressure still go up to 9 bar because of your pump. The difference is the time and the flow rate of coffee. Yeah. This one. Longer. Yeah, because you give less water. Yeah. So I give you the idea 3 gram and 7 gram. So you can see this is 3 gram, this is 7 gram. Yeah. 3-7 yeah. yeah. So let's try the coffee straight yeah, to see the difference Then we talk <laughs> Then we talk about how we play with flow. Kim, Kim, duck rolls. Uh, seven gram duck roll, seven gram uh, me, uh, medium light rolls. Compare both seven gram, seven gram. Different roasting. Dark roll first, uh, seven and three. So just now, some people talk about Slayer. Slayer is actually controlling the flow. 
in print fusion and extraction, two stage here. Yeah. There's a white color machine here. This is a very budget uh, gear pump machine I'm playing this day. Uh, it's very interesting. So you are changing the gear. You can hear the sound. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. What happened? It's a gear pump. Yeah. So you can play the profile, check your coffee pressure here. This meter is a coffee pressure. And then you save your profile. <laughs> it looks like E61, but it's totally not an E61. <laughs> I asked the, the, the company, the guy, uh, he said he just make it look like E61. <laughs> but inside is a different group head. <laughs> Uh, KM, how many gram per second? Seven. Uh? Okay. So now, seven gram per second flow rate, nine bar. How is the uh, sweetness, bitterness compared to the this? No different. Yeah. Actually, not much different because this flow rate with that pressure profile. They are very similar for this line. That's why the coffee tastes not much different. If you really compare, there will be a little bit different only, which is the flavor clarity. Slightly a little bit more clean in this. We feel <laughs> okay. I think have soda refill, right? Soda refill. Finish. Uh. 
all there, no more, right? Do we bring more? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. But I just want to drink water. <laughs> okay. Then move to three gram. Three gram per second. Uh, flow rate profile make a big difference in dark rose. <laughs> change flow, flavor completely change. Even pressure is the same. Like this. Yes. Both over, okay. Uh, no, pour over, you have no pressure. <laughs> yeah, but the uh, the flow rate of pour over, yes, if you control your flow rate, you increase the contact time. Dark rose? No. Japan, Japan yes. <laughs> Japanese brew dark rose very slow. Hmm. Uh, Kim, the brewing time of this? Eh, the 7 gram and the. Let's see the 7 gram. 22, 23. This one? Okay. Okay. Twenty two. Uh, Kim, how long? Twenty five. Twenty five.
and uh, after finish, uh, after finish, we straight move to the medium light rows, three and seven. Okay. Uh, flow is very accurate. Flow is uh, very consistent to control. So actually for me, control flow rate is very similar to you play like play the Leva machine. Yeah, the idea very similar. Yes. Oh, flow rate Astoria, let's check. Seven? Seven. Oh, there's seven gram. So they are similar actually. Yeah. But why the time different? Because uh, basket size. One is uh, almost 20 gram. We use 19. This one we use 16 gram. Mm. So for flow rate, if you uh, set three, gra three gram per second, the initial will start from three. If you set seven, the flow rate initial will start from seven. So that is the difference. Mean you start higher flow rate, shorter pre infusion time. Lower flow rate, longer pre infusion time. That is the only difference. Like you play Leva, you pull it longer, longer pre infusion time. The, the idea of the different system, but what we want to do from different system is the same goal. How we control the extraction time by pre-infusion. Both is also actually. If made in China, it's cheap. <laughs> what I can say. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Cannot, yeah. <laughs> Actually, this one can. If your machine is variable flow rate, variable flow rate means you can keep chain different flow rate during the extraction time. Slayer, only two stage. Slayer is very simple. Pre infusion, extraction. Yeah, you can have two flow rate. But there's a machine you can chain four or five steps of flow rate. Uh, decent, <laughs> but decent more complicated. Decent combine pump pressure and flow rate, everything together. <laughs> yeah. uh, and this one also, if you want to see this one, you can control variable flow rate by the level. So this is three, five, seven, and nine. So by this, you also can do pressure profile. Uh. Ah, yes, they have the digital one. <laughs> uh. 
second. Okay. Light, light yes. So we go move to the light medium and com compare the flow rate. How many seconds? 20 only. Uh? Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Keep, keep, don't, don't change. 